I switched up the deck a little bit just for one card. What's up everybody, it's Joe here for Yugi Boom, and since the last time I mixed Tri Brigades and Fire Fist, my boy Blaster is back, and guess what that means for this deck? It's still shit, but it's still fun to play, and I'm gonna play it because I'm a rogue scumbag budget player, and, um, you know, I want to play decks that I miss, and Fire Fist have always been fun, the Tri Brigades help it give a little spice. Since the last profile, I feel like I was teetering on the lines of, um, going first or going second. I decided to just go full sec second with this build now. Um, I will give some suggestions as always with my deck profiles at the end for some cards I would switch up if you want to be a little more aggressive and then I'll also give some side suggestions, but without further ado, I will um, Go ahead and get into the deck profile First off for our level threes, we're gonna start with three fire fist spirit. He's our main combo starter of the deck Next we're gonna go to rooster uh, I think this is a comfortable number. You mainly don't want to see this in your hand because ideally you open like Spirit and Froctal and you send Froctal, uh, Rooster with Froctal, normal Spirit, and then hopefully you have other cards in your hand to supplement or you can search stuff and start going off. For the only other level three we play, we are going to go with two Raven. In the older days and the more pure Fire Fist, I used to play this at three, but it's still nice to have this because you can summon it there various ways, especially with Horse Prints, and it's nice to normal him and go straight into an Almirage to get either the Tanky or the Tensu or whatever you might be needing at the time. Um, for our level four Fire Fist, the package is also small. We got the two Dragon. Now, opening one of these really sucks, but it's kind of like a lot of other things in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like the one ofs like with heroes with the vision heroes and things like that but you have to just i've learned like i just don't like this at three because for the most part i'm not going to really be getting repeat of popping a tiger king in this deck it's usually just a one of uh, deal so ideally you don't draw these and you summon these two out the deck with your tiger king and then these two summon different fire fists from the graveyard going along with the whole combo package that they facilitate is going to be the one elephant again it's so many ways to search him. I don't feel I need to play more than, you know, one. Uh, same thing with Bear. You know, you, us you usually can search him. Opening him is nice because then you can search the elephant and kind of get yourself going. And the one Buffalo. Buffalo is typically going to be the main target to dump with your Eagle. And he's just a free summon at that point when Eagle is on board. So that's it for our Fire Fist monsters. Next up, we're going to go ahead and go into the Tri Brigades. We've got three Fractal. I mean, he's just super good for this deck. Another way to guarantee there's a rooster in graveyard and to dump him. And then we have two Kiras for kind of the same reason. If you open him and a Fire Fist like Buffalo or Rooster, it's nice to get them into the graveyard since you can't no longer send them from deck. And um, then you can start doing other plays or, you know, linking out. And then, of course, the one Nerval. I've never really experimented with like any of the other Tri Brigades personally, both for different than the links I run or like the kit and stuff. But Nerval is obviously nice because f opening Foolish Burial, you dump a Nerval and then you can thin your deck a lot, even though you don't really draw on this deck. And then last monster for the main deck, I'm running Blaster again because damn it, I missed this guy. And I used to always run two in my Fire Fist back in the day. And it's nice, same thing, you know, pitching him in a rooster or something like that. And then also getting an extra beat stick on board. Now granted, he can't attack under the effects of um, uh, Spirit. But it's still nice to have an extra way to pop and a monster who can annoyingly recur. So, blaster at one. Do what you will with that. Moving on to our spells. The spells is one of another thing that's changed slightly from my last profile. Um, of course, three tanky. I can't think of a reason why Fire Fist would ever not run three tanky while it's at three. Three Tensu for about the same reason, just so good and um, gets you going. One Gilku in the main, because we do fear back row and it's nice to search it and lock something down. One engine for the fusion spells and one Liang Peak, because Liang Peak can help when you have a broken hand, both searching it mid-combo and opening it. And it's just one of those cards, it's nice to have an extra name, and I feel like it's it's been helpful in testing. Like, I keep going back and forth of playing the card and not, but that's pretty much the only fire formations we're running now. If you notice, I'm no longer running the Ritual. For the rest of our spells, we have two Onslaught of the Fire King. Um, you could play this at three, but you can't do more than one in a turn, and that always sucks, but it's really nice to open. Obviously, your main target's probably going to be the Raven, um, just because it's nice. Now, keep in mind, if you do get a Raven with this, you can't 
use him for Almirage because he's not normal summon. But it's an extra Fire Fist monster on board, and it opens up you getting some monsters. Two Triple Tactics talent because Fire Fist is an old deck. It suffers. Uh, hand Traps can destroy it. Um, and you might even want to run like other things that can help you out. Uh, one Foolish and one Change of Heart. To be honest, you can change this change of heart to called by. I'd probably recommend that for the same reason we have the triple tactics talents. But um, I like change of heart in this deck because we struggle with certain monsters sometimes. And as long as we can target them, it's kind of nice. But um, I'm just teching it and it's been fun to play with this deck. But I would, if you want to make it a little bit more meta friendly, um, definitely change this change of heart to a called by the grave. The other two, the last two cards I might change in this deck, if, and especially now that I'm learning it's better going second, is the two traps I run. The only reason I run these is come, sometimes you open like a half a tank for when it comes to the gas, and it's nice to be able to make like a beat stick and set one of these to be a little bit safer. But for the most part, these could easily be removed for more meta cards, either another hand trap or um, perhaps cross out designators, whatever you think you might. But in my testing, they've been working out, but I'm definitely considering cutting them. It is just nice to have at least one just for the fact that sometimes you have a dragon on board and it's nice to like get something out of the deck for free. But like I said, you're not really going to be using these if you end up OTKing somebody. And for the last four cards of the deck, we have two Imperm and two Ash. So if you wanted to, Droll is really good right now, even though it's like some decks don't care about Droll, but you can easily take these two traps out for a third hand trap, or you can uh, triple up on both these cards. But I like Imperm and Ash. I run it in almost every deck. Um, Valor's okay too, pretty much whatever you really want to run, but I'm, I specifically like Ash because her being a fire monster, you could also pitch her with Blaster. Um, so just... This kind of deck needs any type of easy synergy and freebies it can get. So um, you can also run more turbo cards like Triple Tactics Thrust because that could get you your Onslaught of the Fire Kings. So, but this is more of a budget channel. So if you're a rich boy, you can probably make this deck a little more saucy. But let's get on to the shitty extra deck. Now for the extra deck, we have, of course, one Salaman Great Al Mirage. He's kind of necessary for some of them breaking your monsters and opening Ravens. Two Eagle. Um, I think I was still running her in the last deck profile, but I realized that wannabe Boralode bitch sucks. The other Fire Fist Link, I don't care. I don't like her. I don't think she helps at all. There's so many better things. I feel like summoning a Pankratops is more threatening than summoning her. Needing to have the space open for her to even Boralode load something, and then you can't even use that monster for anything really. Like, it's stupid. Like, I think she's a waste of space. So just two Eagle, because if one dies, you definitely want a second. And then for the Tri Brigades, one Fair Jit one Rugal and one uh, Shirig. I've so desperately wanted to put these two to two. Never really Rugal, even though he's the only one who can attack during your, if you uh, are climbing and you have, you've used Spirit to do so. But I find that the summon from Farajit is probably most broken of all in this deck because you're never really gonna be summoning on your opponent's turn to really get interruption with Shirig. It's more to get rid of a problematic monster that can't be destroyed. Um, but either way, the Tri Brigades are 100% necessary. They're so good. Keeping this budget, just because it's more of an OTK variant, I'm running the Boral Sword as the last link. This could be an access code talker because thankfully to the Tri Brigades, you are actually going to have link monsters in this deck now. Um, I do have an access code talker, but I didn't want to put it in this deck because I'm weird about sharing cards in decks when I'm playing them with my friends. Like, they have to have their own copies unless it's dumbass expensive. But, like I said, you can change this for an uh, access code talker if you think uh, this deck could use it. But he won't be attacking either. So, and neither would Boral Sword. Boral Sword is more of like a very niche time to push over something. But for our seed monsters, of course, two Tiger King. Tiger King's so good. He helps with this deck a lot. I mean, getting one of your fire formations out the deck, being able to mass negate anything that's not a beast warrior, and then on top of that, popping him with bear to get two dragons straight out the deck, or two raven in some uh, cases. And then of course, cardinal, because cardinal shuffles things, even though it targets, it's nice to shuffle things that can't be destroyed. For the last two exceeds, and these um, are up to you really, uh, dweller, because graveyard stuff is so powerful and this deck is weak. Um, and then I run the levier because it helps like extend sometimes with combos and stuff and just like link climbing, especially for the generic links. 
Um, but Levier is definitely like my special, one of my special texts. So if you see this extra deck at the end, this is one of the other, one of the two cards I would say you could swap for other things. Um, but he is kind of niche and, but when he does pop off, he pops off well. For the two synchros rerun, we have the one horse prince. Now, Horse Prince, you have to be very careful with where you use him in your combo because after he's been summoned, you can't summon five or higher anymore. So you can't summon your fusion. But he will literally bang a Rooster or a Raven straight out the deck. And I've even done plays where I summon him and a Raven just to use them as link material, even though he's got 2200, he's decent. But um, he's nice for those combo plays and extending. And then Vulcan the Divine is nice because he's a Compulse and in the rare case, a lot of card you run into harpies or something, he could be a little bit extra powerful because whatever cards he bounced, that name can't be used for the rest of the turn. So there are niche way, uh, situations where that comes in handy. And he's, I mean, he's cool, dude. He's a tiger with a hammer. But yeah, he's another one though. However, he's a little dated. So if you wanted to swap him out, you could. And then lastly, we run the one swan. Um, we only run the one uh, field spell, and even though you can pop off in this deck, I don't really ever find myself at 10 counters on my Liang peak to summon him for free, because you could run two if you did like a pure fire fist may maybe, but um, I like him at one, and that's pretty much it for the deck. Now, in terms of the swap outs, I was saying earlier for the main decks, Aside for this deck, to be honest, would just be a lot of board breakers. I would do a lot of back row hate with evenly matched and possibly a kaiju package because if somebody makes enough negates, there's nothing. I've, I haven't seen many hands with this deck that can really get around that. Secondly, if they make a lot of monsters that are v pretty hard to touch, like they can't be destroyed, can't be targeted, um, you don't really have any outs in this deck. So... With that being said, I would definitely run like a kaiju package or some lava golems in the side and um, a lot of back row hate and probably a lot more hand traps. But that's pretty much it for the deck profile, you guys. If you love Fire Fist as much as I do, please let me know in the comment section below. Do you run way more uh, Tri Brigade? I'm always looking for ways to spice this deck up and I love your guys' suggestions and criticisms. Um, so please let us know in the comment section below. Um, and Follow us on our social medias and let us know what deck profile you want to see next. From your friendly rogue and budget boys here at Yugi Boom, peace.